Good day, welcome to my YouTube channel. I would like to say thank you to you for taking your time to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And mostly I want to say thank you for sharing the word of God and to people around the world and to your family members. I know you are expecting uh, another song this Sunday, but I want to tell you that uh, the Lord has instructed us to stay on the three songs that was released the past three Sunday. Why? I want to explain to you something. Because you remember those that are led by the Spirit of the Lord, they are children of God. We are walking according to divine direction. And today I'm standing before you because I want to do a quick recap on the three songs. You remember that the first song was uh, released uh, uh, last time. The title was uh, Your Word Will Never Fail. And I want to explain a bit about uh, the title of the song. And uh, here is a quick recap on the song. My destiny is in your hands. My destiny is in your hands. What you say come to pass. What you say come to pass. Your word will stand forever. Your word will stand forever. One more time, I never be come on. I never be the same again. My destiny is in your hands. My destiny is in your hands. What you say come to pass. What you say come to pass. Your word will stand forever. Your word will stand. Yes, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the song and it has blessed you. Listen, I want to read to you the scripture in the book of Isaiah 40 and verse 8. Listen to what the Bible says. The Bible says, The grass withers, the flowers fade, but the word of our God stands forever. I want to assure you about something today. I want to tell you that the word of God can never fail you. It may take time, maybe in the situation where you are right now, Things seems not to work good for you, but I want you to understand that God stands by his word. God will never fail you. People can fail you. The government can fail you. The doctor can fail you. The hospital can fail you. Anybody in the world can fail you, but I have an assurance. I want to tell you today that the word of God will never fail you. So I want to encourage you to put your hope in the word of God. Stand by the word of God. Stand by the word of God, no matter what. Listen, I want to tell you something. I want to tell you, things might not be easy for you as I'm speaking right now. Maybe you are about to give up on your marriage. You are about to give up on that child. You are about to give up on that man or that woman. But I want to tell you today, don't give up. Stand on the word of God. The Bible says the word of our God stands forever. God is with you. Put your trust in the word of God and you come out victoriously because God loves you. Thank you very much. I want also to talk about the second song and the second song is Tamandikani. Tamandikani simply means be praised, be lifted up. The Bible says, everything that has breath, praise the Lord. The assignment that we have is to give God the praise. No matter the circumstance where we find ourselves in, we have to give God the praise. Someone is asking me, can I praise the Lord? If I'm not eating, can I praise the Lord? When I'm sick, can I praise the Lord? When my situation is not right, I want to tell you, I want you to praise God in advance. I want you to praise God in anticipation. I want you to praise God because by praising God, you are bringing God in your life. You know, I want you to praise God no matter the time, no matter the circumstances. That's why we say, Tamandikani, we praise you, we praise you. In every situation, we are praising the name of the Lord. I want to encourage you maybe right now, you are seated in your sitting room, in your bedroom, wherever you are. I want you to praise him. Never stop praising God. 
We've been created to praise his holy name. We've been created to give him the glory. Friends, praise the Lord no matter the time, no matter the circumstances. Come on somebody. God bless you once again. Our third song is Breakthrough. Why Breakthrough? The Lord was placing upon my heart and say that, uh, you know, you cannot go through until you break through. What you need to do is to break through for you to go through. I know uh, right now as I'm, I'm talking to you, you are asking yourself, how am I going to make it to the next level? But I want you to understand that the Lord wants you to stand in faith because you remember the woman of the issue of the blood in the book of Mark chapter five. The Bible says in the book of Mark that the woman, she break through the crowd for her to touch the hem of the garment of Jesus Christ. And, and the Bible says, it says that as soon as she touched the garment, the bleeding stops. So there's something that you need to understand. That's why we are coming with that message of breakthrough. If you want to see the miraculous, if you want to break through, if you want to, to, to see miracles in your life, I want you to stand and to stand in faith because the key to the breakthrough is your faith. The power that is, is working inside of you is the faith that we have. So I want you to stand with faith as the woman of the issue of, of blood in the book of Mark. She stood and said to, the Bible says, she said to herself, if I just touch the hem of his garment, I will be made whole. So I want you to understand that God is coming to you today telling you, my daughter, my son, stand in my word stand with faith and you are going to break through and when you break through you see the victory of God so that is the third song breakthrough is a big message I want you to stand firm in the word of God and you see the wonders of the Lord may God richly bless you and enjoy the song thank you The three videos that were mentioned are appearing on your screen. Let's go back to them, let's share them, let's pray the word of God around the world, and let God bless you. Thank you.